Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placement you resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information and jewelry seen will all be linked and listed. We will pull oracles at the end, give you a bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Cancer, we are jumping right in. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. Your first cutout this week is the Page of Wands. Sagittarius energy or season could be an important time frame. We have the Eight of Wands, Major Arcana, the Strength card, Leo energy, and the Four of Swords. So, Two of Pentacles. One more card for Cancer, please. Some sort of good news after a time of waiting is the vibe that I'm getting. We have Emperor energy here. Aries energy could be important to you. Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things are finally about to move forward here. I think something has been slow. Something has been really... Um, I feel like you've been praying for something. You've been praying for some sort of news here. Some sort of good news. Because the Page of Wands is good news. And the Four of Swords is definitely a sense of meditation, prayer. You know, you can see his hands are actually crossed. Quiet time. Dedicating some time to sort of um, rest. You know, rec recoup. But I do think it's something you've been praying for here. You've been praying for some sort of news, either from a person or a company, whatever it is for you, it will be different for all of you. Some sort of news, maybe from the doctor. Praying for good news. I do think you're going to receive whatever news you're hoping for. The Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. This is communication with the Eight of Wands movement forward. This could also be a sense of travel. Lots of um, back and forth mentally, though. With the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, I am getting a sense of back and forth in your mind. It's like from one extreme to another. Or maybe this is something you have a reoccurring um, interaction with. For instance, if it's a, some sort of diagnosis, you know, it's been going on for a bit. But it's like now you're finally going to get the answers that you desire and you're finally going to be able to move forward. Fortune favors you. For some of you, this could be work related, especially with the Two of Pentacles. Things might have been hard a little bit financially. Whatever news it is that you're receiving, it is going to create a sense of abundance, a sense of fortune, a sense of um, luck. Luck. You've been strong. You've been strong with the strength card and the emperor. For some of you, definitely is a job. Maybe you'll be getting a raise or getting some sort of um, position that's going to stable things with you financially. But something you've been praying for, whatever news you've been praying for, whoever it is you've been praying to hear from, could be a Leo or an Aries specifically, heavy on the fire sign energy, you're going to get it. The Wheel of Fortune tells me you're going to get it. You're going to be able to move forward. Any sort of indecisiveness or back and forth or monkey mind energy is going to be alleviated. The Strength card is also an energy of overcoming. Overcoming whatever cycle this was, whatever... You know, cycle of waiting, cycle of needing to have faith a little bit is the vibe that we're getting here too. We also have the Queen of Pentacles. This is a sense of self-care and you need to take care of yourself. Very nurturing energy. Also could be some sort of mother energy involved. We have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're nervous. You're nervous for whatever this news is. But you're not going to give up. The Nine of Wands, he's been through a lot. He's fought a lot of battles. And there's also progress here from the Eight to the Nine. This has been hard. That's why the strength card is here. For some of you, I do get it's a medical condition or something you've been dealing with medically or someone in your family. For some of you to work, the money hasn't been right. You've been waiting for a specific job to call you back or to get that position. You are going to get it. You are going to move forward all because you haven't given up. You have not given up. You've persevered. The strength card is also an energy of perseverance. And for those of you where this is financial, you will be able to support the people around you. You will be able to give back. You will be able to be generous. All the things that you're trying to do, because some of you have a lot of responsibilities here with the um, emperor. Got a lot on your plate. Got a lot of people depending on you. That's also why there's a lot of worry here. For some of you, it's something to do with entrepreneurship. Some sort of business or self, self-independent thing, side hustle. It's finally going to get ready to kick off. Or you're going to get the news that you need in order to move forward with it. But it is going to create stability. The Queen of Pentacles is here. It's also a sense of stability. Something you are nurturing. Yeah, hard work pays off. 
there's the hard work. You also have now two eights here and the Wheel of Fortune, which is heavy destiny energy. Heavy, heavy. This was always meant for you to ha meant to happen. It was just you needing to hold the faith. For a lot of you, it is around money, your stability, your future, your career, whatever it is that you've been um, working towards. And the we uh, the hangman and the we the fort um the hangman and the fool card, something you took a chance on, and it definitely has been stagnant. We the fort um hangman is very stagnant energy. For some of you, it's like people thought you were a fool. See, and I see the Ace of Pentacles sticking underneath. So, some of you might want to play the lotto, but this is something that you've worked for. Something that people might have told you were crazy to sort of um try. Well, you did it anyways, and now they're going to all be laughing when you're giving them really good Christmas presents. <laughs> if this is a love situation for you specifically, Cancer, what is the guidance? Some of you could be a person that you are also waiting to hear from, that you have been wanting to hear from, and you're finally going to hear from them. Some of you may be a father or a mother. That's way too many. Haven't spoken to some sort of family member in a long time. But uh, the two of you always talking was always meant to happen. It was just a matter of you knowing in your heart that it's meant to happen and letting fate kind of do its thing. That's a lot of cards. Okay. Release your ex. That's so funny. Worth waiting for. Worth waiting for. Release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. Divine timings at work in your love life. Definitely something to do with timing here. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits if you forgive your parents. So for some of you are going to be reconnecting with a family member a parent a mother a father some of you it is a love interest and it is saying that it, it, this whole process was worth it you'll see why or when this finally does come in you're going to understand why you waited and you're going to be happy you waited release your ex so the release doesn't necessarily have to be with the ex for a lot of you it might be this could be who you're waiting to come back for but this is just a sense of releasing once you release, it's going to happen a lot faster. The Two of Pentacles tells me you're still in this sort of when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? It's not happening. It's going to happen. It's not going to happen. That type of thing. This is what needs to be released. And as soon as you're able to kind of just let, let go and let God, that's when things start moving forward. Because things want to move forward. The Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands are here. Forward movement wants to happen. Progress wants to happen. But it's definitely in a stagnant state. There's definitely stagnancy. And I think once you realize that what's meant to be will be. If whatever it is you're waiting for is meant to happen, it's going to happen. There's no point in you waiting around for it to happen. You might as well live some life in between. That's also the fool card. You might as well enjoy yourself while you're waiting. Well, you know, indirectly waiting. And it's like that's when it happens the fastest. Sweet results are eight, yeah. B spirit number seven, which is also luck and um, destined energy, mostly luck. And we have dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. So what we see on yourself, that's that queen of pentacles energy too. This is also saying focus on yourself. There's a need for self-care. There is a need to focus on the self, self-care, get into your routines, get into your diet, get into your meditation, your, your exercise, all that stuff. Focus on the self. Time will also go by faster. It won't feel like you're waiting so much. Thanks for cancer. But there's th there's good things meant to happen for you here. Sweet results or wait means, yeah. And definitely for those of you that have been working towards something, it's going to pay off. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus could be dealing with the Taurus. Full moon energy could be significant. But this is saying there's steps that are not being taken here. It's kind of like you're w wishing and praying, but that's all you're doing. Maybe you need to be the one to take action. If this is maybe a person, especially, don't let your pride get in the way. Yeah, Leo energy. There's that Leo energy there. So for some of you where you're waiting for someone or you're wanting to talk to someone, whether it's a family member or a lover, maybe you need to be the one to take action. Or stop waiting. Stop waiting for it to happen. Release it once and for all. Maybe it needs to be released and not waited on at all. do we have for cancer because i do also see the ten of swords over here choose you every time yeah for some of you this is something you need to release and you have not released yet you are still waiting when you are not supposed to be waiting you're supposed to be moving on with your life moving forward 
moving towards new things, releasing the X. It's not meant to work. Time is going to pass you by. Life is going to pass you by with the waiting energy. You're stagnant. You're stuck. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Nope, I missed one. Hold on, Cancer. Some of you are saying you're healing, but you're really waiting. And as soon as you start seeing it that way, or admit to yourself or accept that that's what's really going on, then you're able to move forward. Awareness is the, always the first the first thing. Once we're aware, we, then we can make changes. But if you're blind to something... It's hard to kind of pinpoint what needs to change because you're not seeing it. It's in the blind spot, right? But I think the realization is, is that someone, some of you, this could be also someone you're dealing with. Somebody's saying they're healing and they're really not healing. They're waiting. Subconsciously, consciously, they're waiting because this is saying not giving up. Some of you need to not give up on uh, new things coming in. The idea of new things. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying the foundation, divine plan. Yeah, there's something, the higher ups, some sort of orchestration going on here. S yes, just say yes. This rarely ever comes out. This is also alignment with the three. So maybe for some of you, there's a yes that needs to be said. I don't know. You know your story. Put yourself where you fit. That is your reading, Cancer. Hopefully it resonates. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.